Right now I have zero watts. Nothing's working. I got 24.1 volts into this, but it's, nothing's going through the system right now. I got four lamps here. Each lamp is 110 volts, and, and there are seven watt lamps. So I got a total of uh, four seven watt lamps, which is 28 watts needed to power them. Okay, here's my voltage again. Now I'm going to start this. Now I'm going to stop it. Here's my voltage again. 23.7. All four lamps are lit up. Go over to here. And I got 18.4 watts. So I got 18.4 point, 18 point two or three, something four watts powering those four lamps. And those four lamps need 28 <clears throat> watts to power them. So something's feeding them power, and I don't know what. Once again, here's my voltage. There's my watt value, 18.2, sort of stabilized, 18.2 watts was feeding those four lamps out there, all four. All right, now let's start this rotor and see what happens. Now I got this rotor going here, okay? along with the lights. That's a load. There's my wattage. And this this kilowatt um, meter is very, very, very accurate. And that's telling the wattage it needed uh, power what you see out there. There was spinning rotor and four lamps. Well, well below the 28 watts needed to just to power the lamps themselves. So go figure folks. What do you think? I'm going to put this on uh, YouTube and uh, see what everybody what everybody's opinion is. It's very simple. Very simple math. Current can be easily figured out by knowing the watt value and the voltage. So let me know what you think. Four lamps lit, rotor spinning, 20.6, 20.7 watts. So let me know, folks. Hope to hear from you.